Hey, do drops. It's Diane from Corvina. How are you? Happy Monday. Hope you guys are doing really well. It feels like it's been forever since I've seen you. So, are you ready to make a scarf? I'm ready. I miss it. I miss it. I love paper, but I miss silk. Okay, so we are doing Valentine's Day themes this week. Shocker, I know, but it's gonna be fun, okay? So let me show you our inspiration here today. Here we go. We've got these beautiful mint and lavender cookies with little bits of red, pink, and white in there. What do you think? I think it's gonna be really pretty. And we're gonna make a silk scarf, so that's always fun. Let's get started and let's see what we've got. Let me show you our colors here. Okay, for our colors, we've got our mint, our lavender, a little bit of a darker purple, kind of a periwinkle there. And then we're gonna throw in some of these fun colors, okay? I think we're gonna do these first in just a little bit. So we're gonna really overload it with these and maybe we'll just see the red and pink shining through with like little, little spurts. I don't know. Let's see what happens, okay? I'm gonna switch you guys to our dewdrop view. Here we go. You can see a lot of the tray, hopefully. There we go. Oh, now you can see all the tray. That's actually really hard to do <laughs> on my end. So yay us. All right, let's get started. One last look at our inspiration here. All right, here we go. First things first, let's put down a line of paint. Okay, so we're gonna go nice and slow and just do a line, kind of a primer layer of paint. Okay, step one, done. Step two, we're gonna go a little crazier with this one, okay? And it's not a lot. Okay. And then we have a kind of a strawberry red, which is this one here that I didn't show you. And we're gonna do the same thing, just little bits. They'll just be little afterthoughts, okay? Hopefully, that is our goal. So let's start with our lavender, all right? So we have the lavender uh, tissue paper. And then we have the mint green cookies. I hope y'all are doing something special and fun for Valentine's Day. We'll probably go out to eat somewhere. We have been, you know, dining in restaurants safely and we've been, I've felt safe every time we've gone into a restaurant to dine. So I think my husband is actually off on Valentine's Day. So yay for me, <laughs> that's exciting. I hope, uh, your significant other is off on that day too. I hope you can do something fun. Cause what a drag <laughs> this year has been. Um, I know I've been saying that for over a year now. You know, it is what it is. But it's all gonna be fine eventually. Okay, so now we've got some color on here. I think, what should we do? Should we do? Let's do our lavender or our mint teal-ish color right down the middle and then go from there and see what we think. We're gonna go down the middle of these lines. So dewdrops, I'm thinking that, <laughs> so let me tell you what I've been doing. I have been uh, working I've been working hard to organize my space. Any other messy artists out there? I am such a messy artist. And, you know, I don't necessarily count that as a bad thing until it starts really hindering my artwork. And this definitely was, okay? So I know I didn't post a lot um, for the first couple of weeks here of the year, but I had to get myself organized. Y'all, I have been hot mess. And I know sometimes you can see my studio and it does kind of look like a hot mess. So I bought some organizational furniture and I organized it and oh, I'm feeling so much better guys. So I'm now feeling like I was so cluttered and so crazy down here in my, my playroom, playroom turned studio that I couldn't even focus 
on creating anything beautiful. So I think I've got it sorted out and hopefully we'll get back to posting regularly. I'm thinking three times a week um, we can come in and do a video. That's what I'm aiming for this week. I've got three scarf videos that I think we can make um, for Valentine's Day week. I'm gonna add a little bit more lavender. I'm not sure how that one color, that last one went in. I'm not sure I like that very much. It kind of spread everything out, which is fine. But we like big, bold color, don't we? You know. So, my kids are at school today. <laughs> and they're doing, they're, they're fine, I laugh. Um, but they're <laughs> fine. They wake up in different moods every day. Like some days they're like, yes, let's go to school. And other days they're like, you can't make me. So, you know, you never know what you're gonna get. That's why I'm giggling about it. All right, guys, it's been a while since I've gotten to do this. So why don't we start with our gigantic six foot long comb or rake, whatever you prefer to call it. I really use the term interchangeably. I know there's probably a right way and a wrong way to talk about them. All right, guys. So we're gonna take our long comb here and we're going to just gently put it in the trim. Send it down, adjust it, bring it back. There we go. All right, well, this would look cute the way it is, but let's keep on going, shall we? I think for this one, I'm like itching to do this pattern. I don't know why. All right, so we're gonna do we're gonna do some S's. I need to slow down. I'm moving really fast, so I'm just gently wiggling this up and down. I'm gonna come back and I'm going to cross over some of the lines I just made. And so this creates some fun waves. I don't know if you can really see it, but I've got lots of little waves. You'll see it when we do the close up, um, when you can see the finished product, okay? Or maybe, I don't know if this camera is working. Ooh, can you kind of see it? Can you see our detail here? Can't really move it, sorry guys. <laughs> All right, so we're ready to dip our scarf down. I think this is really fun and springy and I think it actually does. Look like our inspiration picture. Okay, all right, let's dip our scarf. We've gotta get out our trusty scarf dipping rack. So this thing is longer than six feet. And I attached my silk scarf to a frame. And that's how we're gonna do a one person scarf dipping because usually it takes more than that for successful scarf dipping. All right, let's lower this bad boy down and hope we get a good print. Uh-oh, feeling lopsided. Yes, very lopsided. Ooh, I am so rusty. Dew drops, that was not good. <laughs> so the middle's gonna be fine, but the uh, outside of the scarf landed on the tray instead of the water. So I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a, uh, a blank spot on my scarf, which is super sad. But alas, it happens, that's okay. No worries, it's still a pretty scarf. I could hem that part off and nobody would know, except for you. All right, so we're just removing our clips here. And then we're gonna, been looking around at different trends and stores that I enjoy. 
lately and I'm seeing a lot of the mints and lavenders and kind of this blush and I think it's going to give way to really bold colors this summer. So excited about that. Okay, so let's pull this scarf up out of the water. You might see dripping and running. That's totally normal. That's just paint and water that did not get absorbed into the soap. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three. Oh, what do you think? A few drops? I think this looks really pretty. I like our lavender and our red. I'm a little nervous now that we didn't put enough paint on the tray, so it might be a little bit more pastel, but what a great scarf for Easter, right? Okay, so I'm going to put it in our rinse bucket. I'll be right back. All right, yay us. We made a really pretty pastel scarf. I think it looks like our inspiration. So what happens next? So I have to let it hang dry and then I have to iron it to make it flat and really press in that paint into the silk. And then I'll take pictures and show you what it looks like, okay? So I'm playing around with some new things, maybe trying to do some stuff with all this beautiful artwork that we have amassed over our, you know, I mean, it'll be a year in April that we've been doing live scarf marbling. So I'm working around with different stuff. You'll be the first to know when I solve my problems, <laughs> okay? All right, Dewdrops, it's Diane from Corvina. I'm hoping that you have a fantastic Valentine's Day week, and I hope that you're doing well. No matter what you believe, no matter where you are, I hope wonderful things for you. All right, bye. Oh, remember to go to Coravina.com if you need a scarf or a Valentine's Day present or a Mother's Day present, you know, good things. All right, bye Dewdrops. Remember, live colorfully.